Okay, so next question that a person would say would be, what about prayer? How does, how does prayer work? How do I pray? Right. It can feel confusing because it can kind of seem like we're talking with an imaginary friend. Mm. And again, I think we maybe wonder if we have to do something special. But prayer is just having a conversation with God like a friend. So it actually starts by just telling him what's on your mind, on your heart. I'm lonely. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm happy. All of those things we can just start talking with him about. The other thing I found really encouraging is that prayer is something that we're always learning. Mm. And it's not like we have to have these perfect words and have it mm. all together to pray. It's like any conversation. We get to learn how to have these conversations and there's give and take. I, I love it that um, Jesus' disciples... The, I mean, these were people who had grown up in a culture of prayer and mm. they still came to him and said, Jesus, can you, can you teach us how to pray? And that's when he, he gave them some words to use. He didn't say, well, you should have this together by now, or I can't believe you're asking this. He's like, yeah, for sure. And here's some words you can actually use to help you start praying. And this is where we get these beautiful words, I, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. You might know some of those words. Those, that comes from Jesus teaching us how to pray. So that could also be a place to start is use some of the words words that were given in the Bible to help shape um, what we're talking to God mm. about. Mm -hmm. How about you? I know that you enjoy praying. I'm, not, I'm actually not good at it. And I know that I sounds like that. false humility, but I'm, I'm not good at it. I've, if I could say I was good at something, I'd be reading my Bible. Mm. And I knew I was supposed to pray in university. I'd wake up, um, get out of bed, read my Bible, and then pray for half an hour and I'd fall asleep. So I only prayed for 30 seconds, <laughs> wake up with a big coil ring binder and print on my face. So it's been a struggle for me. Yeah. I'm going to come to you. I'm going to ask you just personally how it lands for you, what prayer looks like for you. For me, I'm best help when I'm walking and talking. I say it out loud and um, here's how it's going on. In my head when I'm praying, it's kinda goes, it kind of goes to porridge because then all of a sudden I'm thinking about the next thing I need to do. But when I'm in, like any conversation, when we're doing this, I'm mm -hmm. focused and I'm in the game. So it helps me. I think Eugene Peterson used to say, go garden, do something active. Yeah. Don't find yourself sort of, you know, slumped up against the pillows again. If that's what happens to you in prayer, you know, get after. One of the things that help is helpful for me is to sort of, again, sort of like, um, how do I find God? God's actually in hot pursuit of me. And then how, how is it that God sort of views this whole mm -hmm. prayer thing, you know, arms full, that is he going to get it right this time? Is he going to wake up with a coil ring binder imprint on his face again? One of the kids in the youth group last year or the year before was saying, we were talking about prayer, and she, she said, I just feel so bad because I pray at night and I'm praying and I'm talking and I'll fall, I fall asleep. And God must be so upset with me, she said. And I'm like, no, not at all. Can you imagine if I, I had, we have four boys, but if I had a little girl, maybe my granddaughter, and she was on my lap and she was telling me stories and she was talking and she fell asleep on my arms. I'd be like, yes. You know, not like, wake up, kid, finish your story. I'm trying to get this straight. Not at all. So there's the, there is like, how is it that the living God views prayer, right? He invites us into this yeah. and wants to hear from us, wants to be in comfort, listen, talk, the whole thing. So, so you, these are good things that you've just said. How does it, how does it land for Lenita Weber? How does prayer land? Like, I mean, when we're at our best, when you're mm -hmm. at your best, what, uh, what does it look like? Feel like sound like it's hard. It's oh, it's been a struggle too, and I think a lot of the struggle is I have expectations of myself or expectations mm. of what it's supposed to be like. So learning to let go of these expectations that I need to have a really good way of expressing myself, or I I should feel a certain way when I'm praying, and just learning how to um, be. So I love gardening, and that's one of my favorite um, ways to pray. But I I. Try try different things. Sometimes I'm helped by writing prayers out. This is what's on my mind. And that, it, especially if I'm um, feeling a little bit troubled or anxious, often I'll go to writing prayers. I love, um, I've grown to love praying from the Psalms because they just have this huge range of experience that they allow us to express. And they are all always redirecting my hope towards God. So I love using um, Psalms. I like to try to um, 
pray quietly. I like to, I've tried silent prayer. I'm a disaster at it. I think that the first time I tried it, I tried to go for 20 minutes. It's such, such a bad start. Mm. Like five minutes is a good place to start. And that, that was hard enough. Because, Let's just be silent. Yeah, just being silent and um, being present to, uh, to God and to Jesus. And, you know, my brain's going everywhere. So I, uh, having said that, the more I practice that, the more I appreciate it. It's, it's never, it's never perfect and I'm not good at it, but it's still, um, God still meets me there. That's the beauty of it. Eh? Yeah, it is good. It's good. And I find too, it's, it's, it's better praying together. Mm, so we yeah. pray, yeah. um, Wednesday mornings, you know, you go to your spot, I'll go to my spot, a handsome young man that works for us, Seth, who's behind the camera. Um, godly young women, if you're looking for a handsome, young, godly man, Seth is the guy. And so the three of us, after the hour or two that we're off praying, we'll, we'll walk together around the property, mm. praying out loud, sharing the stuff that's on our heart and believing that even the conversation is prayer, but then specifically crying out to God, gratitude, headache, heartache, all those sorts of things. But, but together, yeah. I, I think that does help me focus. I pray with the pastors in our area every mm -hmm. Wednesday morning, and, and that's a good thing for me to do. Otherwise, I just find something else to do. Yeah. I don't know what it is about prayer, but I can just push it down the priority list, even when my heart of hearts knows it's a top priority mm -hmm. issue. So when so I commit easy. myself to Wednesday mornings, I know I'm after it. Yeah.